There's a, a section in uh, the Lean Startup book that Eric Ries yeah. uh, came out that talks about Dropbox. And I love this story. It's about how you sort of tested your product uh, yeah. without even having a product. Mm -hmm. what, what did you do? So we had a challenge, right? And where the conventional wisdom was like, you know, launch fast and iterate quickly. And that's a great idea unless you know, you're making pacemakers, mm -hmm. right? Or something that's mission critical. And there are a few things that are more kind of mission critical to people than their sort of most important stuff. Uh, and the challenge that I had with some of the other sort of products that were out there is they were buggy. Mm -hmm. And you couldn't tell what they were doing. And you'd go in the support forums and you'd see these horror stories of like people losing their wedding photos because the thing wasn't properly engineered or they hadn't solved that corner case. Right. Um, and um, and so uh, you know that that was one of the important things we thought about. And then so what we made what we did instead. So the the challenge was shipping code would have been would have had the same problems, right? We weren't it wasn't quite ready for prime time. Mm -hmm. So instead, uh, we want to give people a flavor of the experience. And so we made this like three minute video that was sort of um, me narrating a, just a demo of the product, and it basically. Get, People got the gist of what we were doing, and it turns out we got the same feedback from all of our you know, prospective users that uh, we would have gotten from sh putting code in their hands, except it was a ton less effort. Mm -hmm. um, and the basic idea is right that you have a folder, it's yeah. a Dropbox folder on your yeah. desktop, just to explain for anyone who hasn't used it, and any file that you want to have access to anywhere, sure. you, you drop it in the folder, and it's available on any device. That's right. right. That's right. Just you know, the simplest thing that could possibly work, right? right. Just a magic folder. Um, it's a magic folder. But why? Why are you? Why did you choose to uh, replicate the file folder structure, which really, you know, you don't need a file folder structure anymore, but people are familiar with it, right? right. So, so, how much of that was sort of just getting people? You know, at a comfort level, so that they don't have to learn something new. Versus, right. this is the way that that you have to do it for technical reasons. Well, so you're touching on a really important point, um, or a couple of them. So one is, it was really important to us that, you know, if you know, we don't change the way you work, um, except for saving in this one folder. Um, and so it was pretty easy for people to understand that if, as long as I save things in this Dropbox folder. You know, if I hit, if I know how to hit save, or if I know how to drag and drop, you know, a photo, I know how to use Dropbox. Mm -hmm. um, and so, you know, every computer user knows, you know, for the most part, knows how to do that. Um, and, and remember, this was before the, you know, iPhone and the iPad and sort of, mm -hmm. um, and, and and so, you know, now, I mean, that's one of the things we're excited about is the opportunity to sort of bring that kind of post PC, you know, non file and folder centric approach to everything. Um, and, and, and you know, we'll be sharing a lot more around that in the coming you know, year. Right. So my, my issue with the service, mm -hmm. just since I have you here, All right. is <laughs> I don't always know what files I want access to. And I have to think about you know, to put it in, into the folder right. as opposed to you know, if I remember, oh, I, that's on, you know, I need to get that document. Um, usually I have my laptop with me, it's not an issue. But I just want access to everything. Yeah. Right. How so, so we're we're thinking about the best way to address that problem. You know, just make it easier. If you don't put your stuff in your Dropbox, it's, you're not going to find it very useful. Um, not even access to everything, but just access to every file that I've touched in the past thirty days. Sure. Cool. Sure. Right? And that way, you don't have to. Yeah. You know, have huge storage costs. Yeah. So, uh, you know, making it easier so you don't have to remember things, and so that you know, for example, you just move your documents folder into your Dropbox. Right. Um, or, or other tools. Um, those, are, those are things we're building for our users. Because right now, you're right. I mean, it's a very simple model, but it can be challenging for people if, you know, sort of like, here's this empty folder, go mm -hmm. fish around for stuff to put in it. You know, that's, that's not the last word in, in how, and how, we, we'll be making that experience much easier. Um, right. So that you don't have this sort of burden of, okay, I need to remember to change my behavior.